shit is freaky, dude. That shit is so freaky. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, it's Aaron! Oh. This is what it means to me. Dude, it's Starstruck. Oh, wow. This is Aaron, dude! <laughs> It was hilarious, honestly. I thought you'd like it. I love it. Yeah, we played the office pretty bad. Uh, my first question. Um, first, I want to get you guys to react to my friend Brandon. Can I get Brandon in here? Can, can y'all react to Brandon? <laughs> what do y'all think of Brandon's cosplay? <laughs> it's perfect though. <laughs> he, did, so he did Pennywise proud. The teeth are amazing. Can't say that. Yes. Fantastic. Where'd you get those teeth like that? It's a great day. Oh, no way. Really? What? I had them mold my, my mouth. In the, <laughs> it, 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 is it impossible to talk right now? It is. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right, real quick, man. You guys are really young, um, but you guys have a big part of Hollywood history. I mean, there's a movies that come out every Friday. I mean, it to me is like iconic. So you guys having a piece of it is pretty dope. So how are you guys reflecting on uh, being a part of uh, you know such an uh, important piece of horror history or movie history? Uh, well, it's I think very surreal. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just gonna say it's. It's helped inspire, like it's helped us do stuff like this and go to these conventions and meet a lot of our fans, and that's just well, that's what the it's all we about. Have fans, and exactly, yeah. It's yeah. really, yeah. And I'm mean, inspired for the movie to be a part of a movie like this, and it's dream come true, dream come true. Yeah, and like the movie broke records, but like the fans broke the records, not us. Yeah, so true. thank you guys for that so much. I think that's it's true. cool just to come out to these events because, um, like you said, it's the fans that go out to make our movie what it is. You know, so I'm just glad we were able to give them something that they could latch on to, and especially because it already has a fan base. If you give them something that's even, you know, really good, they really will go for it and fight for it and see it three, four, five times. So we'll be there <laughs> for that to happen. Yeah. So, Cody, how are you? Um, I have a question. Um, what is the best part of the experience for you guys? For you guys, is it you know doing the film or is it the interactions like this? Oh, that's hard to choose, right? Oh, yeah, that's. that's I say the film because w- before I started acting, I never visualized. Having fans, I just I wanted to act because I wanted to act. I never cared about fame. <clears throat> I, v- I never visualized walking red carpet or anything. But I did care about being able to act and express myself on camera or on a stage or whatever. That's all I cared about. <clears throat> yeah, I got one more for you though. How's it feel to be a part of DC? Right now? Yeah. Oh, it's so sick. It's a dream. I, I mean, again, it's a dream come true. Uh, I, I grew up with DC and opposed to Marvel. You know what I mean? I, I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Batman is my <laughs> OG favorite superhero of all time. Okay. Um, Agreed. So, yeah, thank you. It's incredible. It's incredible. You guys, uh, in, in It, you know, you guys are young kids, but much like in real life, you guys are young kids. How do you deal with, just like your characters had to deal with in It, your fears in real life, especially when it comes to this acting and entertainment business? I think it's cool. I think it's easier because we actually have a group of guys. Like, we're really blessed to have, you know, a lot of people make movies every, every day, but they make their movies and they separate. But the fact that we actually were able to, we actually loved each other and liked each other as friends, it makes it easier because now it's like, oh, if we have a problem, you're not going through it alone. Yeah. So the same way in the film, it's like that oh. same message of friendship is what conquers, you know, the hardships because not that we're really that tough, just that we can count on each other to help us through the hard times. You know? Yeah, and that, and that was yeah. great to, to be in a group of kids is because like, when we walk through this, usually people walk through it alone and we all had a hold to ha- a hand to hold. You know, I, I laid my heart on the on the on, on the court, and um, you know, uh, I, I come to this organization. I know uh, with expectations, the city has expectations for how we perform, and uh, we're just not doing it. And um, I put that on me as a leader of the team and as the uh, veteran player. Uh, you know, you know, coming from the inner cities, you know, this was my outlet, and uh, uh, I just. I don't want to. I don't want to let my teammates down. I don't want to let myself down. I go in the gym all off season, and then I come back trying to improve and and, and sharpen my skills. And uh, you know, I, I believe in the process. I trust the process. Shout out to Joel Embiid. And uh, I just want to. I just, you know, this next game will be better than the one that we just played. And uh, this is not the team we are, and this is not the organization we are, and um, it's not the player I am. And uh, you you know me, you know me, you know what I do. And I just want to thank y'all. And uh, I'll be back. I just remember being uh, young and. I didn't know <laughs> young and restless. I didn't know I wanted to be an actor ever, but I do now that I look back. I remember just being in my room and 
like acting out scenes from Star Wars and like crying and like pretend crying in my bed and like just being weird and making faces all the time. So that was like my earliest, uh, that was when I became. <laughs> That's not cool. Um, so yeah, but, but I mean, I just love acting and expressing emotion, like you said. Fuck you. Puh. <laughs> Sorry. What do you tell about this ensemble that you've been a part of? These motherfuckers look like they're uh, a <laughs> What you gotta say about us, huh? Huh? They're alright. You okay? They're alright. Just kidding. We <laughs> fell in love as soon as we I met. I love you, man. I like we you We fell in love. Oh. Yeah, oh. right, Chosen. You love me. I love you, bro. Yeah, we love, love each other. Chosen. I love you too, <laughs> son. Why? Why? It's got ectoplasm. This? So I'm gonna tell you about playing under the kitchen table. Alright, so did you ever um study the no. Oh yeah, 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 wait, go already? Four, four, four. So we're gonna study uh, the original uh Stephen King uh King Kong Uh yeah, n not exactly studying but uh watching it in order to respect it. I think all of us um some of us didn't watch it just because we didn't want to copy it and I watched it um, just to see how Jonathan Brandis did it did it and uh, especially with the stutter and all that and obviously it's an incredible movie and uh, so basically it wasn't for research it was just for to pay respect to it. It was definitely a very special movie for for me um, and obviously the outcome was crazy and every people liked the movie I guess and uh, but just filming it was amazing, an amazing experience because, like I said, we all loved each other, and that's rare. That's rare where you do a movie, especially with other kid actors, and you actually like them. So um, it was very special for all of us.